Do you like Beatbox? Because I like being able to see, but I gave that up. I found a new life. And Stitch, I've never heard of Stitch. And so I accidentally watched Stitch this heavy metal band. They were good. Oh, they were very good. Very angry, but very good. So if you need Stitch death metal, check that out. It was called Wage Wars. Not this Stitch, I don't think. Wage Wars, very good. This Stitch, I heard him speak for two seconds. His voice, very deep, very masculine. Very, um, kind of like if he told you how to do something, you would think it's true. If he was like, dog, I need you to delete your channel. You'd be like, that's fucked up, but I guess I have to delete my channel. But I have not heard him beatbox. We will today learn how that works. Oh yeah, if you're like, dude, why is your hair stupid? It's, it's intentional. This is intentionally dumb. Now let's go. And this is a huge, huge shout out to Swiss Beatbox and my friend Paponi. <laughs> baby girl, don't you worry about tomorrow. Everything will be alright, just put that thought aside. Baby girl, don't you worry about what you can't see coming. Everything will be alright, I'll see you tonight. Hold up, he is dope. I can't, I can't do the stupid hair shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This guy has talent. Hold on. I'll see you tonight. Those triplets he was doing, I don't know what that fucking throat voice was call, called, where he went like triplets. But he was like in pitch on every single one of them. That was kind of crazy. I don't even know what that technique's called. I should know, but I don't. But that was nuts. <laughs> And he's keeping the pitch with the trumpet and with his own voice. Ah, this guy is actually pretty fucking uh, solid. Yeah, he's really good. I'll see you tonight. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go back to the beginning a little bit. Everything will be alright. I'll see you. Actually, I'm gonna trust my instincts. This guy is actually super incredible, but you always like notice when you're when you're looking at someone uh, what they're leaving out. He's incredible, but I didn't really see a presence of that low bass thing. He ended with like a little bass thing, but I think. He is sharp. He's super sharp. Um, the, uh, the little trickery he did with the triplets and going up with that throat voice shit, that was really good. His actual singing was on point, in tune, and he was able to keep the pitches between the beatboxing and the vocals and the trumpet. He kept all of it in tune. All of that is already like 
excellent job. Excellent. Like 10 out of 10. That's very difficult to do that he's bouncing between different registers and he's keeping all of those pitches in tune. That is just absurdly good. But when we're talking about beatbox, a lot of times we either have like people who want really fast stuff, which I don't really care to give a fuck about, um, or people that want bass. And I will give on bass. Like I think bass is very important because bass is like a a structural way back 800 years, 1000 years, bass is a structure of song development. People weren't worried about speed. I'm hitting the mic. People were not worried about speed in the 1300s, but they were worried about bass because it's part of the whole texture. Speed is not necessarily important, but bass, right? Like a soprano, alto, tenor, bass, like a four part choir structure of how things go together. So I think he's very, extremely talented. I think uh, he nailed everything that he did. Um, he didn't miss, which is important, which is I don't think he set out to do something that he was unable to deliver upon. I think he nailed all of, all of his arrangement. He nailed it. It's very good. But what sticks out to me is that he's a killer, but he just neglected the bass. And I think if he had some bass, could we maybe say champion? He put some bass in there, maybe a champ. I don't know. I don't know how to judge. I don't know how it all works. But I'm just like, as a dude who's like learning about how things sound, is that again, great pitch control, great clarity between your instruments, your ranges and what you're doing. Uh, but when I see all these other videos that people are recommending to me, oftentimes what they're focusing on is bass or rhythmic complexity. I think rhythmic complexity is boring. It's like, how fast can you go? How quickly can you subdivide a beat and then put it part of your routine, which a lot of people get off on. I don't, I don't really find that very exciting. Uh, so I would not want him to be faster. I would just want some more bass in there. That's it. That's all I would do. That is my reaction to you, Stitch. I'll see you tonight. Oh, by the way, your fucking voice is deep as fuck. You could find some bass though, right?